Welcome to the Weekly News Digest from Gameplex Group. Nevada Regulators Approve Betting on ESL Pro League The Nevada Gaming Control Board has approved betting on Counter-Strike Global Offensive's ESL Pro League Season 11 North America in three wager types. With this ruling, regulators will allow all licensed bookmakers in Nevada to post and accept wagers on the tournament under specific conditions. The Nevada Gaming Control Board has approved wager types for head-to-head, -head, winner of each match, and overall season winner. Fox Sports to broadcast full eNASCAR iRacing Pro Series Invitational After a successful debut event on March 22nd, the complete eNASCAR iRacing Pro Invitational Series event will be broadcast on Fox, Fox Sports 1, and the Fox Sports app. The decision comes after the inaugural event drew 903,000 viewers on FS1, according to a release. New Zealand Esports Federation named National Sporting Organization for Esports After assessment undertaken by Sport New Zealand, the New Zealand Esports Federation NZESF, has been named the National Sporting Organization for Esports in New Zealand. Now recognized as the governing body of esports in the country, the New Zealand Esports Federation now has clarity on education and guidelines regarding visas, tax statuses, and prize money distribution regulation for players. Tribe Gaming raises over $1 million, including from NBA WWE stars. Mobile-centric esports organization Tribe Gaming has closed its seed funding round, raising over $1 million. Boston Celtics player Gordon Hayward was part of the round. Alongside WWE pro wrestler Claudio Cesaro Castagnoli, they will serve as strategic advisors to the organization along with others who contributed. Rally Cry raises $1.2 million, including from Blizzard, Riot Games founders. Gaming startup Rally Cry has raised $1.2 million in seed funding that includes investments from founders of Blizzard Entertainment, Twitch, and Riot Games. RallyCry is an esports platform for a more casual audience, aiming to bring social and competitive gaming to all ages and skill levels, according to a release. Team Reciprocity releases staff amid downscaling. North American organization Team Reciprocity is downscaling its business, which includes the release of its staff. As part of the downscaling, Team Reciprocity will only retain its teams in Crossfire which was established in partnership with LGD Gaming and in League of Legends in partnership with Rainbow Seven. This were the most noticeable news and events in the esports industry over the past week. Subscribe to our channel not to miss the next Gameplex Digest.